Hello, I'm Charles Sturgis. And I'm Will Ploughs, and welcome to episode three of the Drive-By Podcast. In this episode, we will be discussing the Ferrari Mundial and future classics. Charles Leclerc flying around Monaco. We're bringing you another instalment of Drive-By Destroy, where we have an argument. And Elon Musk's badger problem. Episode number three has started with a bit of an argument, really, hasn't it? We have had a bit of an argument. So Charles said that this week we should start off with kind of future classics. It's quite a big debate, isn't it, in the car world? Well, I think it, it was a, a, an idea that I came up with. What car could you buy now that's relatively new or maybe secondhand by a couple of years Yeah. Um, that will be a classic in, say, 35 years' time, 30 yeah. years' time? Yeah, also. and I say there aren't really any mm. that are built now that will be good in a few years' time. Because you're arguing that everything is disposable now. Everything is made for now. It's yeah. to, to look good on social media. Yeah. So things like shoes. Shoes? Yeah, shoes. What there is shoes. Me. This isn't a shoe show, but we'll go on with it anyway. Right. Shoes. So Shoes? Shoes. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So things like Adidas shoes mm -hmm. are made for now. So then you have buy a pair of Adidas shoes, and then in a year's time, you put them in the bin. Because they're ruined. They're not made well. Do you think to any car that's been made kind of in the 60s, 70s and 80s, maybe early 90s, they use materials that will last. So yep. things like leather, metal, wood. Mm. Things that actually last and look good in a few years' time. Okay. Now it's just plastic. Yeah, and bonded aluminium and everything's a monocoque and you can't replace individual panels and stuff like that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So like, if you have a pair of, what's it, R.M. William boots? Yeah, oh, so, so take, you can take a pair of shoes, resole them, yeah. And maybe put a little bit on the top or whatever you But they do. still look good down and the they'll line. they'll still last. But you can't do that with night shoes. And it's the same with cars today. Right, okay. Because cars today are too modern. And there's too many things that will go wrong in the future, which you can't fix as well. Hmm. Do you see what I mean? I see, I see where you're coming from. So, so you, what you told me to do was you told me to go away and find two cars or however many cars you think will be a future classic for people that they, people can actually afford to buy hmm. now. It's so not things like Ferraris which inevitably probably will be classics because oh, yeah. they're so well made. Mm. But things that you can actually buy for a reasonable amount of money, mm. in a few years' time, there'll be a few, there'll be classics. Okay, yeah, I see where you're going, right? So what, okay, right, what's your first car then? So I found it I really, think of two. this is probably the most difficult thing I've done this podcast so far. Mm. To do well, I've chosen the BMW M2 and I've chosen the Alpha 4C. It's interesting you say that because I was on Auto Trader as I do, just, as, as we all do. Absolutely, just scrolling through. And I was I was getting cross about the Ferrari Mondial. So the Mondial was... I hate that car. I'm not a huge fan of the Mondial, but 10 years ago, yeah. they were worth... Some of them were 10 grand, some of them were 15 grand. You could really? pick up a really good one for 20 grand. There was one on eBay, only one. Oh, not on I'm eBay, surprised. on, on AutoTrader. Not surprised there's only one, though. Yeah, funny that. destroyed. Um, the, it was one on AutoTrader. Yeah. How much? 40 grand. 45 grand. 45 grand. 45 grand, grand really? for a Mondial, which was largely seen as a crap Ferrari and yeah. wasn't a particularly good car which anyway. Which it particularly is a crap Ferrari. It is. It's not the best Ferrari ever made, but it is going up in value. Exactly. So, but going well, back to what, what we were, we're talking discussing, about. Mm. I chose the BMW M2 and the Alpha 4C. Yep. Okay. So the BMW M2 I chose because you can buy it now for 30 grand for really? a half decent one. One that hasn't got hundreds of thousand miles on the clock. Mm. But for a half decent one you get for 30 grand, you think when they're new, how much are they, 45? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I it's think something like that, isn't something it? Something like that. So think about BMW depreciation. That is nothing compared to, say, a 6 Series. Yeah. So I think an M2, like the old M3, mm. is going up in value. This one day will probably go up in value. Yeah, no, Because it's got timeless styling inside. Yeah. It's got nice leather. It's, it's a manual. It's every other BMW inside. Exactly, exactly. But the style on the outside will look good in a few years' time or 20 years' time compared to what? A... I see where you're coming from with that. I've never been a particular fan of the styling of the M2. Have you? I can see... No. But can I've you see where I'm there. coming from? I can see where you're in coming from. In terms of timeless styling, there's no cars available today, really, which have a timeless styling. F-Type. <laughs> got you. Ha! Yeah, but... Uh, yes, but... We're doing some reasonable cars. Okay, well, the M2 is not all that reasonable, is it? It's 30 grand for a decent one. Fair enough. Which okay, okay. most people did buy on finance anyway. So if I'm going to think about that, I'm going with a 124 Abarth. The new one. Spider. Because, for the simple reason... Oh, with the matte black bonnet. Yeah, yeah with the, the, I think they called that the Heritage Pack. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, 
that's a dead car now. They took that off sale last year because Did it they? wasn't doing. Even though a Bath was the biggest market. Yeah. Sorry, the UK was the biggest market for a Bath. Yeah. Um, they've killed it anyway and they've, they're not doing it and it's the same thing with the regular Fiat 124 mm-hmm. it was a very well regarded little car I love that little car oh it was great I loved it it had a little angry engine in the front yeah. seating for two bit cramped yeah. and I couldn't they, I didn't find there was anywhere to put my foot when it wasn't yeah. on the clutch so the left foot was either on the clutch or yeah. saw it off um, and every time I changed gear I would um, turn the radio off because exactly. the button was right there. So it had character. It it's had like character. a better Italian characterful version of the MX-5. Exactly. Yeah, no, so I preferred that. And it had a pretty short run. But you can pick mm-hmm. up a good one now for about 17 to 19 grand. That's not bad. So it's really not... I think I'm going to get It's holding its value. It's holding its value. And plus, the fact that it had a short run, great little car, mm-hmm. better than the MX-5. Mm-hmm. I think that will be a future classic yeah. myself. Yeah. yeah. So then I also said the 4C. For the same, very similar reason I said the M2. I love the 4C. I love the 4C, mm. but one thing it hasn't got, which all the cars now do have... Power steering. Power steering, all the driver steering. aids, and it's manual... It's not manual, sorry, it's an automatic. We'll gloss mm. over that, because mm. lots of cars... Did they not do an automatic ver- a manual version? No, they yeah, the no. automatic version. Mm. Um, we'll gloss over that, because yeah. that might put a downside to its future. But I think in terms of styling, in terms of how it's in the inside, in terms of how it, where it came from with the 8C, which is now a classic car... Oh, the 8C is classic. worth... A lot of stupid money. Yeah. I love an 8C. Though. That's why I think the 4C will be a future classic. It's also mm. holding its value extremely well. Yeah. I okay. looked an auto trader again, <laughs> as you do. How much? 40 grand for a half decent one. And what? Yeah, they were. And they came out at 60. Yeah. So it's not too much, though. You think about depreciation in other cars, like Aston Martins. Oh, yeah. Ridiculous yeah. amount. I would, I would have a 4C, though, all day long. Oh, yeah. Love a living car. And you don't look like a complete. Tosser. Mm. So we've got, what's that? We've got two powerful cars from you, and then I've gone with two rather reasonable ones, but my slightly surprising Citroen DS3. Oh. What's wrong with the DS3? DS3 is going to be a good little car. It's, it's an really? old car. I mean, it, you can't get it anymore now. Now it's the DS3. But DS have now come up as their own little brand, haven't they? Yes, DS are now a separate brand yeah. altogether. Um, and it's funny, actually, because when when that came out and they were yeah. going to do it as a separate brand they tried to get Citroen dealers to build oh, a whole yeah, separate you, site I remember you mentioned this to me so you had to so you'd have your regular Citroen dealership and then you had a DS dealership and I think they were roundly told to go and fuck themselves exactly because I don't think as a brand DS has done all that well no but not surprisingly DS7 though. isn't a bad looking car though. they're sort of Touareg size Tig 1 size oh yeah car. it's got nice lines on it hasn't it I think that's actually quite a good looking car but I like the DS3 why because, is that going to be a future classic then well it's about 10 years it's been out for about 10 years now because mm-hmm. um, you had a great little halo car for that brand which was DS3 racing yeah which is a cool little car um, and plus they also used it in the World Rally Championship which mm-hmm. I think gives it a bit, nice bit of pedigree but I've seen loads as learner driver cars yeah. as well I actually learned to drive in a DS3 did you? well there you go yeah. that's, that just proves my point I found a Citroen DS3 on Auto Trader yeah 8595 with not bad 11,000 miles would you mm-hmm. not have one of them? no why not? because I have something as you can see by the shirt I'm wearing Taste. That is a particularly shit shirt in my opinion. I showed this shirt to my dad uh, the other day and he goes, Will you're looking that middle aged man look now. It is a middle aged man. Timeless, look. like the Alpha Mayo 4C and the BMW M2. What, not like the DS3? Not like the DS3. The DS3 is lovely. It's a cute French car and cute little French cars are cool. They just are. So, just like the 2CV then, our favourite car. No, not like the 2CV. I don't like the 2CV. No, it's cool, and I want one, and I would put, happily drive that around a little French town. What, Not, the 2CV or the uh, DS3? No, you, no, you tip the DS3. Really? Yeah. Well, there we go, then. That it does have that. a rental car vibe about it, but apart from that, oh, it's... Oh, you've lovely. just ruined it. I know. <laughs> it's oh, a pure just, rental okay, car. Just, it is a bit, bit It's like the Golf car, Jetta. Right? That is a pure rental car as well. VW Jetta. But yeah, I think that brings it off to the end of uh, our debate. I've been right in my saying that the no, BMW, you haven't. BMW You're M2 not. and the 4C are going to be future classics. No. And no other car today, that's a reasonable price, will be a future classic. They're too expensive. Buy something that you can pick up for the teens, like a 124, a Bath and a DS3. But if you think that we're talking complete bollocks... Which we think, probably are anyway. Probably are. But I, I stand by that I think I'm correct, like normal. But if you do have any other opinions, do drop us a line and tell us what exactly. complete idiots we are or tell me that I'm absolutely marvellous which I am so yeah excellent yeah. right moving on and now we're going to do the news 
Yes, the news. And we start this week with a car that we both adore. Mm. The new Jaguar I-Pace. Well, not say the, say the new Jaguar I-Pace. Well, I mean, it is the, the I-Pace. I-Pace. It's now getting kind of, you know, faster charging and a new infotainment system. Are they getting, is it, is it getting the Defender entertainment get, system? It is getting the Defender entertainment system, oh, which you fantastic. really like, didn't you? Oh, it's great. It's infinitely better than any of the previous Jaguar Land Rover actual yeah, home yeah. built in house infotainment yeah, yeah. systems. They were. Because that's happened in your rant last week, anyway. That happened, yeah. Um, again, we're just ranting about the same things as we always do. But yeah, this one here, they're saying it's going to have a much faster onboard charger. So guess right. how long now it's going to take to do full charge? Full charge, which is what, 298 miles, 98 worth of miles. miles range. How, how long? I've no idea, no idea. 12.75 12. hours. 12. Is that the new one? The new one. That's still a very, very long time. Exactly, 22 miles of charge per hour. So you, you can yeah. charge your car up for an hour and you'll only do 22, 22. miles. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Imagine putting an hour's worth it? of fuel into your car. What, standing at the pump for an yeah. hour? You wouldn't bother, would you? You wouldn't bother, no, exactly. And it's, so 12 and a half hours, that's basically the same time it takes to kind of get your head around the figures of actually charging the car itself. Yeah. Kilowatts and manowatts and minowatts. All sorts of watts. Are those watts? Those are watts, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> the next thing as well, that the was iPace. a crap joke. <laughs> I actually really liked it. <laughs> Carry on. My dad, joke. my dad joke and my dad shirt. Anyway, Carry on. the iPace is now also coming with a brand new kind of, you know, an eSIM. Basically the same as a SIM card. But also, also, I can call... Yeah. People from my car. You can call people. But I can Google do that things. already. Yeah, but you can now Google things on the go with a 4G data plan. So I can watch porn in the car. You can watch porn and in the car as you go. So when someone kind of asks you, how have you uh, got here today? You can say, I've come in the iPad. <laughs> <I've come in laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. If it, only, oh, no. only if you haven't been driving for a long time. <laughs> it's the, oh no, I've hit myself in the iPad. <laughs> exactly, that's oh, exactly what right, it is. Okay, well done, disgusting. Jaguar, for your brand new data plan. Thank you for that. The um, ruining vision of people everywhere. Oh, Jesus. Exactly, right, anyway, okay. yeah. Moving that's on. the new iPad where they are changing the charging, charging times. Thank you, that was riveting, apart from the uh, porn bit. Exactly. Next thing. In the news, mm. Lotus marking their 20 year anniversary of the Exige. Was that a drum roll? That was a drum roll. Oh, right, okay. Um, the 20 is the Exige 20 years 20 old? 20 years now. old. It's Good nearly God. as old as us. I, know. I always think of the Exige as kind of coming out in about 2007. Mm. You know, when Top Gear did that thing with, with the, the Apache. Apache. Yeah, That's when I always that. think the Exige came out. Mm. Not in t- 2000, obviously, my mouth oh, exactly, is off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's been given retro styling. Yeah. Retro styling of 20 years. Mm. Is that really retro? Not especially, but no. did you see the uh, classic ones they were doing? The renderings of the so you got like a, a James Bond style one that was like no. red and gold, and they did quite a few. They look really good. So if you could really? get the paint jobs on on this new Exige in that paint job, that would be lovely. Well, I think they're only coming about three different colours, isn't it? It's coming in chrome orange, laser blue, and calypso red. We so, won't go into those. So it's red, orange, and go blue. into our uh, into our run that we did last week about car, car colours. colours. But yeah, it's got stupid names: chrome orange. Is that just chrome? How can you chrome orange? Yeah, chrome. Oh, well, so it's got red, orange, and blue. It's gonna be, yeah, red, orange, and blue. Yeah, and it comes with all the kind of additional extras that you get on the old car, mm. but as standard on this car. And it's got a load of 20 logos all around the side of it. What's so your that, opinion on, on slapping things like that on cars? Because Range Rover have just done 50th yeah. anniversary ones, and they've put, they've had like 50 on there, and then yeah. they've had 50... Exactly. I think they're doing it just to make the people inside feel that's their age. So twenty. <laughs> someone driving an Exige is going to feel twenty, aren't they? Even if it's a sixty-five. No, the back's going to hurt. <laughs> that's all. That's it's going the to Range Rover with the fifty on the side. It's going to back's going to do. Didn't you say it's got some sort of interesting suspension on it as well? It's yeah, it's got dampers. three-way adjustable dampers that can be fully adjusted to kind of the different driving environments. When actually it's only have two driving environments: the road, road and Mallory Park. <laughs> That is it. That is all yeah, it's going to be used for. Well, you see, yeah, the Mallory Park is the right size for the Exige. Cadwell Park. Cadwell Park. Yeah. Not Silverstone. Not too Silverstone. Many long no. Exactly. You're not going to see that thing at Mons, are you? No, exactly. But so, yeah, yeah. okay, I can see that. Exactly. Great. So we've got a, uh, an old Exige with a twenty written down the side of it. I can exactly. do it for. How much is it going to cost? Eighty grand. Oh my Christ. So basically, you're paying eighty grand for a shoe. Well, I can get an old Exige and just write twenty on it in biro if you want, and that'll. Could I you? could do that for half the price. Really? Yeah, you do maybe that for me? even less. Oh, I did that for you. Anyway. You are such a good friend, aren't you? I know, I know. Wow, thank you very much. What have you got for me anyway? Anyway, so I've got a new car out. Uh, well, it's not. It's actually called the Cupra, because they've done the Cupra. Oh, they've now gone, like DS3 with like the Like DS, Citroen, and done the the, they've got Cupra. I do like Cupra. the Cupra R. Is you it that? Cupra or Cupra? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> okay, right, so we've got the Cupra. It's a Cupra Ateca. 
You remember the, the thing? Oh, the 4x4 four four The 4x4 four four thing. They're sort of bigger car. Yeah. Yeah, so they've done the similar thing that they tried to do with DS. Yeah. It comes with a 2-litre four-cylinder turbo petrol oh, engine. Oh, no. That's really know. knocking my socks off. Absolutely. 2-litre four-cylinder, like every crossover type thing. They've all got that engine in it. Do you know how much it costs? I bet you're going to tell me. I am. It costs £36,700. You could get a second-hand McCann for 35 grand, which is much nicer, and it's a Porsche. That's too expensive. Too expensive. That's too... But the really iffy thing about that is the Seat version, so not the Cupra, just the Seat Ateca, that costs 23 grand. How the hell have they justified it? 13 grand price difference. How the hell can they justify that for some bronze bronze paint on it? And I think the Atec is an awful looking car. Dreadful. They've facelifted this one. Yeah. So. Maybe that's it. Oh, I'm moving on from that because that's a bit. A uh, bit of good news. Iffy. Yeah. It said over the. A study came out. Yeah. Saying that over the last 10 years, traffic policing has gone down by 62%. Interesting. Moving Marvelous. on. Marvellous. I think that's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, um, right. We did electric cars last week. Yeah got some more electric car news for you now. Is it from Tesla? It, well, funnily enough, it is. There's a new company no. that's come out called Nikola. So they've taken the first bit of Tesla's name. So <laughs> we've now got the Nikola car company and we've got the Tesla car company. Nikola. That will be going to do to it as well. Then. So they, they've got to be paying Nikola Tesla's family some serious money for yeah. this. Um, but the interesting thing is they're going to build electric pickup trucks. Yeah. And they haven't built a single one yet. They've just got some orders for them. What? And they haven't built one, but they've got orders for them. They've got orders for the car when yeah. they eventually build it, but they haven't built one yet. And they are, as a company, they have a higher share value than Fiat Chrysler. Not surprisingly. I think that's astonishing. So it's going to be building like an F-150, Ford F-150 style truck. Well, if it's as popular as those, they'll do pretty well. They want to make it the most popular pickup truck. Mm-hmm. They want to take out F-150 really with that. But it's going to be called the Badger. Now, I'm sorry, but Nicola Badger sounds like a low red Midlands porn star, <laughs> that does. Nicola Badger. Well, it could be worse. It could be called the Nicola Beaver, I suppose. Yeah, that would probably be a bit be, worse. Yeah. Plus, I assume the fact that it's going to be, as it's called the Badger, we'll see a few of them by the side of the road not moving, really. <laughs> Out of charge, like yeah. dumped by farmers. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So Shall I wish them the best of luck with that. I reckon that's just a ploy by Tesla. They've come up with the other half of the name yeah. to make another company just to really corner the market. Yeah. I assume that the CEO is called um, Melon Eusk. <laughs> <laughs> dreadful. That, that was, was a crap. That was a dreadful. crap joke. We both had our share of crap jokes today. Anyway, yeah. So moving on from that, I read a BBC News article from the F1 section that mm-hmm. said Lewis Hamilton will have a faster car for this season. I'm not entirely sure what they're talking about there, but I imagine the rest of the paddock said, oh, "No shit, Sherlock." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah there you we go. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> marvelous bit of news. Thank you, BBC, for telling us something that everyone could have told you. Exactly. Excellent. And now we're going to end off the news with our new favourite film, Rendezvous. Something that we were so looking forward to. It is just dreadful. Claude Lelouch took a great premise and a good idea and just drowned it in Monaco Harbour. It would have been fine if they didn't call Call it it Rendezvous. rendezvous. Mm. They could have ordered anything else driving around in a beautiful Ferrari around the streets of Monaco, but they called it Rendezvous. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you go and watch it so we know you know what we're talking about. Exactly. Um, and um, there's one thing that's good about it, actually. Rebecca what? the Florist. The, the girl Rebecca the Florist, which I think is Claude Lelouch's daughter. Exactly. Um, she was a welcome addition to it. But the exactly. location, Monaco... It's just a building site. It it's is just crap. a building when site. When they drive around the harbour, it's just cranes, bollards and scaffolding. It's and men in high jackets. Things that don't belong in a rendezvous film. No, they don't. It's just awful. The, oh. the music from the start. Oh, God. The music... Just... I likened it to like an early PlayStation game, like yeah. an early action Crash PlayStation Bandicoot. game. It was just awful. Yeah. It lost all the magic, really, it really didn't did. it? It, it really, just... really did. I mean, it's the original such... the original wasn't without faults. Obviously, yeah, they had a lot of editing. It wasn't... The dubbing wasn't yeah. great. But exactly. But as the... an idea. Exactly. I wish they'd put as much money into the making that song as they didn't actually get some engine noise from that SF90. Oh, I know. There was no engine noise. There was a bit of wind noise because there's no proper induction noise. It's all exhaust noise you exactly get but they didn't do any proper musical no. editing plus you had it pulling up outside the, the hotel and a bit of clapping everyone but then everyone miles. clapped late they, yes, they exactly. saw the car come around the corner and waited then, and then well done clap. it was so strange and it was when you go watch. through the tunnel you can see the gopro in the background yep 
Fair play to Charles the Clerk. Yeah, exactly. But he been paid a shit ton to do that. But it was just a bit of Ferrari PR that really was is. just nonsense. They it hyped it up right. to be something so fantastic, and it ruined rendezvous. If they'd have gone from Monaco, honestly, one of the most awful places in the. I hate Monaco. To somewhere like Villefranche, Samer. Take it right down down the proper coast, in exactly. South of France. That would have been nice. But there were too many external shots. Yeah. It should just be from the bumper. Exactly. Start looking at the car. Finish looking at the car. That would be fine. Exactly. But just shoot the whole thing from the bumper. And don't just go around the bloody Monaco track. Go no. somewhere interesting. We see that every single year, that Monaco track. And it wouldn't have hurt to, for them to have some cars on the road. No. Just like, because it was completely empty because they closed it all. But have a couple of cars going yeah, yeah. the other way so it looks a bit more realistic. Like that thing you showed me, that video. From well, Prague. that's what I'm saying. The, the true successor of Rendezvous is a film called The Run. I never heard of this until you mentioned it. No, which they did in Prague with a yeah. Nissan 350Z. And I know what you're going to say, it's not exactly a Ferrari. It's not. But it was a brilliant car. I want one again. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it, was a great reminds, car. it reminds me of Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. But you see, that's the beautiful thing about it, is because when they're driving it, it's yeah. all shot in one take, so yeah. they say. But you get over it. It's shot in one take. Exactly. It's not, they're not pinning it all the way. They're not... Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, yeah. There's a bit of downtime, and it's not, it's not supposed to be Fast and Furious where there's 16 gears mm. and they can just rattle through them. It's, got, it's a lot more honest about yeah, yeah. it. Plus the colour of that. I love the 350Z because it, was, it had yeah, the yeah. best name for a colour. Not getting onto colours again, but it, Le Mans Sunset. That orange. Oh, yeah. Beautiful Ooh, name yeah. for it. Actually, funnily enough, I was I googled uh, Rendezvous, put it in on YouTube, mm -hmm. and then had a scroll down, and some guy did a version of it in Rome at the start of the pandemic. He did it on a, a superbike or something, but he just strapped a GoPro to the front and went through That's Rome. That's what Rendezvous is. Exactly. That's exactly what Rendezvous is. It was on a bike. We can forgive him no, for no, that. No, exactly. He is going properly quick in yeah. that thing absolutely going for exactly it. so therefore the thing that we are most saying is that if they didn't call it rendezvous it would have been almost okay it would have been it would have been a almost lot better okay i think the car was beautiful that new sf90 it is a good looking car it's kind of it reminds me of that concept they never bought out the f150 mm. do you see what i mean kind of the dome Didn't they get shape sued and... by ford or something for that did they for, yeah, for using the F one fifty name, I think I they know. got. I don't know. They got a legal case. I, I think. I'm, yeah. I think I'm roughly remembering that yeah, right. Yeah. But that's a beautiful car. But they bought out this car. I never thought anything would be as beautiful as the Pista was. But that is just stunning. I'd love it is one. a very good looking car. I'd love one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I overall very unhappy with that. If you very want unhappy. a proper rendezvous thing, yeah. Either watch rendezvous. Yeah. Or watch the run. With or the do Nissan. it yourself if you want to end up in prison. I think that's a great idea. I think there's no better time than now. To, I'm going to do it in an F-Type in London. So if you see if you see that someone's been arrested in London for uh, driving too quickly down the mouth, doing 150 down the mouth, yeah. it, it was me. wasn't the Queen. It wasn't the Queen. I'm not doing it on a bike, though. I'm no, not doing it on true, a bike because you'd fall off. Exactly. Yeah, and I think that's a good place to end our rant slash the news. Right, let's move on. To another episode, another instalment yeah. of Drive By Destroy. Cue the brilliant intro. <laughs> that thing really is. I, I think I think that's here to stay. That really intro. is here to stay. That is definitely here to stay. Yeah, we are amateurish, if nothing else. Oh, absolutely. So, this week on Drive By Destroy, what have you got for me? Hot hatches. Now I'm cheating a little bit here, but I'm including that car. Because I like it. What car? I think it will uh, throw a spanner in the works. Fiat, a bath, 595. That Abarth, is not 595. the hatchback. It isn't, not really. But shut up, because I want to include it, because right. I like it. Are you putting me in my place there? Absolutely, yep. So it's the Abarth 595, yep. the Fiesta ST, or the Golf GTI. Okay, so I can sort of see where you're coming from there, then. Okay, right. Yeah. I'll you, go first, then. What are you doing? Well, I, you went first last time, so I'll go first this time. I will be driving the 595. I'll be yeah. having the Abarth. Oh, that'd be great fun at a kind of nippy little track, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a great little car. I love driving the Abarth. So very, very good fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's, a, there's, a hap there's a happiness to it. You drive it and you there are really happy. Is. And it's got a nice face. It's got a it does. It does face smile a lot. And mm. do you know what I love about it? What? It wheel spins in third gear, unlike many other hatchbacks. It is a cool little car. It is great it's great. Yeah, it's got the perfect combination, really. It's small, happy face, angry little engine up front. It's got a blah, 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 exhaust at yeah, the back. Yeah. If you have the Monza spec exhaust, that's the best one. That's the mm. one that goes popping and banging behind How many it. horsepower has it got? Uh, it's got 180. 
So that's not too bad for a car that's kind of the size of a handbag. Exactly. It's 6.5 seconds, not to 60, which is quick for a handbag as well. That is very, very quick. I think I would have it. If I was going to have one, I'd have one in that's in a lime green with like black stripes. Down. Lime green? Lime green, yeah. Look, it's cute. You're having a Fiat in lime green? Yeah, absolutely. No, 100%. no. Yeah. Absolutely not. Why not? That looks stupid. I, I, what? You could have it in red. Yes, I am, because I am the voice of reason on this podcast. Do you know, actually, that's one of my favourite ads. Do you ever see that ad? It was in a bath ad of the girl. It was it was an Italian woman standing by the side of the road where right. the Fiat was, yeah. and she started getting angry at this passerby looking at a very, very beautiful Italian woman started yeah. getting angry at it, which I think is a great ad. That's, that's a great ad in itself, that is. Absolutely. And it's the great thing about it is it, it's an angry little Italian thing, mm. and you'd have one if you lived in Rome, and it would be covered mm. in dents, but I have it lime green with black stripes. You're not changing my mind there, and I love the big turbo boost dial thing that you get on there. I, I hate the small football right size now. thing like that. It's silly. It's supposed to be a silly little car to yeah, make yeah, you happy. Yeah, I get that. And I'd have red, red brake calipers on. Remember last car. week how you mentioned Ferrari, the thing where on people with stupid paint jobs? Yeah. They're coming straight for you. And they're coming straight for me. I like it in lime green. I've seen them in lime green, yeah. and I think they look great. Like the same colour of your trousers. Viewers, you can't listen to see this right now, but Charles is wearing lime green trousers. I am wearing lime green trousers, and that's why I thought that I'd have a nice lime green above. But right. you're not you're not changing my mind there. Right. So I'll be having that. And they're only 18 grand, so it's a nice little car to I fly don't about in. They're, they're not much anymore, really. I don't know. You can pick up a, 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 a used one for decent money. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'd be buying. What do you think I'd be buying? I know exactly what you're going to be buying. What am I going to be buying? You'll be buying a Golf because that's a sensible thing to do. It is. It's a sensible thing to do. It's a great daily driver, no question. Yeah. Best to live with. Yeah. Big boot. You can tell everyone how much miles of the gallon you've got. Yep. Yeah. Four doors. Well, five doors. Yeah. Would you have it in manual or automatic? Uh, I'd have it in manual myself. Yeah. I can. And I'd have it in lime green. I don't disagree with it. No, you no I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having it in lime green. I'd have it in a nice sedate sort of dark blue. Maybe a green. You would have it in red. No, what That's is the this best fascination colour with for red? A Golf GTI. It's no, it red. isn't. I'm not having it in red because everyone has it in red. I'm not having it in that awful blue as well. That sort of well, electric blue. Line. I'm not having it in that electric blue that everyone has it in because I've got a, I've got a Golf and they normally have an art when they've got that blue. Yeah. But I'm not having well, that. The blue. art is better than the GTI. I, having, I, don't, I think it would look nice in black. Right. Nice little black car. So Charles is here. Is completely contradicting himself on everything he said last week on the show. He what, said, thinking, every that, single car colour is so boring at the moment, they're all black or grey or white. I would, I would have, have it, a black Golf. It seems... Well, like, it doesn't get more boring than that. I think... <laughs> piss off. Piss off. This is my game. I'm having it. I've got more horsepower than any other car there. 245, right. although it's only... 0.3 of a second quicker mm-hmm. than the above, but then it is heavier because yeah. it's so practical You've and it's so got such a big boot. Kind of Oakley sunglasses in that car. I don't want Oakley sunglasses. That's what you need to buy if you buy that car in black. I like it. I'm having one. I'm having it in dark blue or maybe yeah. even a dark green. And I'm destroying the ST. You're wrong in every single sense. It's literally that's an worse. inferior that's goal. That's worse than destroying a LaFerrari. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Why would you not do it? It's not as nice to live with as the GT. It's not as good looking. The current one isn't as good looking as the old ST. No, but you didn't didn't specify which one. Well, I'm saying it's got to be new. It's the new Golf, the new Avast. Well, the Avast, many years old. uh, And the new ST. And the new ST doesn't look good as the iteration that you have outside your Fiesta that isn't an ST. No, I would agree. And what colour is your car? Black. It was black. my first car. In it your first there. car, do you ever get picky on what colour you have it in? No, you had a black Volvo C30, so shut up I and get on with your bloody game. I had a grey Volvo. Grey? Grey? <laughs> yes. I Come did. on, keep digging. Like keep digging. Said. Keep <laughs> digging. Keep digging. Shut up. Get on with it. Come on, finish. Finish. No, finish. You're going to let me speak. You doubled down on the black paint because you painted your alloys black exactly. with a spray can by the looks of this. <laughs> No, you had no, black alloys on it. It's only because of a spray gun because I've, I've curved every single curve in <laughs> Okay, it. that's all right. I'm destroying the ST because it's less comfortable than the Golf. Right. You get less miles to the gallon as the Golf. Yeah. It's not as good looking as the Golf. Right. It's just, it's going. And it's it's the it's medium sort of price. Yeah. 20 grand, something like that. 197 horsepower, so less than that. And same, uh, not 60 is the Abarth. So I'll be driving the Abarth because it's fun. I'll be buying the Golf because it's nice and it's practical. And, and you can tell everyone exactly how many miles to the gallon you get in it. Yes, and I why will. it's better than their car. And I will do. I will do. But it's a GTI, which makes it lovely. And it's classic. And the ST has a silly name. What? ST. It's, it's sanitary, ST. sanitary product, isn't it? It's not. Sanitary towel. And GTI sounds like an STI, so shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Come on then, Smartass. What is your choice? So I'm going to agree with you on drive. 
I would drive. Oh, the bar. Yeah, because I've been in one and it was brilliant, brilliant fun. Yeah. Really, really good fun. I loved shuffling it around the track. I'd love to take it to Cadwell Park. Similar to You've the. You've got an obsession with Cadwell Park at the moment. I do actually. Yeah. I do have an obsession. And what colour would you have that in? Guess. Red. No. Black. Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, fuck so. <laughs> with black wheels. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> oh, you can't say that black is boring, but I don't have my car. In black yeah, but the anyway. bath isn't boring. No, the bath isn't boring. The GTI, GTI is boring. Is boring. Yeah. Oh, that's boring. yeah, yeah. There are many people on the podcast are dis- disagreeing with you. The Golf GTI, mm. it's a great car. Okay, it's a you, brilliant car. So you're buying the ST? I'm buying the ST. Why? Because it's good fun. It's on ha- hot hatches, and the ST is everything you need. In it is a hot, a hot hatch. hatch. It is, but the Golf is just better. What was dubbed the best buy. hot hatch of the modern era? Is it the ST? It's the ST. Oh, okay, Funny right, that, then. isn't it? Yeah, I still think you're right. And we're doing this on pure, 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 pure <laughs> hot hatchery, which the ST is. And that's the one reason why I'm buying it. Not because I'm biased and have a Ford already. Okay, fair enough. And for enough. that very reason that I don't own a pair of Oakley sunglasses, I'm not buying I'm going to destroy the Golf GTI. I still think you're wrong. I'm not wrong. You are. I'm not wrong. I've got nearly 50 more horsepower than you have. So it's too many. It's too many. It's too many for a, a hot, hot hatch. hatch. Right, think what's the can... fastest hot hatch you can buy? Mercedes A-Class, A-45. That's yeah. just completely unattainable. How many horsepower is that? got 350? Yeah, too many from a hot hatch. Yes, it is, but it's also too much money. So that completely discounts it. Funny enough, why I didn't you don't include want it in much, this list. You don't want too much horsepower from a, from well, a um, hot hatch. But that's why the ST is about... is fine. Now, how much does it weigh? I bet you can't tell me. No, I couldn't tell you, exactly. but it weighs more than the others. Exactly. Which is why it requires more brake horsepower. No, you're So wrong. the power to weight ratio would be better. Shut up, you're boring me now. Okay, right. Right, anyway, so I'm going to rightly drive the Abarth mm, in I a agree. good colour. I'm going to buy the ST and I'm yep. going to destroy the Golf GTI. You bloody idiot. Thank you very much. Okay. And enough. before I clout you around the face, I'm going to end the show right here. You're ending the show. Okay, fine. Yep, we can end the show. If we're going to have a tantrum, we can end the show. <laughs> end the show on a tantrum. Um, I actually yeah. enjoyed that. That was a good I little... I thoroughly enjoyed that. was that. a proper drive-by argument. That it was. was, actually, yeah. Excellent. Lovely stuff. Lovely well, stuff. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you thank very you. much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for listening to our ranting. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Drive by Podcast. Don't forget to follow me, at Charlie Drives, on Instagram as well, for joining yeah, us. Um, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.